How to make your wife fall in love with you again after separation. What's going on, Kings? Uh, so let's talk about this. So how do you make your wife fall in love with you after separation? First of all, you need to write down, first you need to identify, okay? You need to identify. You need to really do a, like um, an inventory of, you need to kind of like write down everything that happened because you didn't just get here overnight, right? Unless you're deceiving yourself. It didn't just happen overnight. She was complaining about a few things, even though those things may not be true. It doesn't matter if it's true, it doesn't matter if it's right and wrong, but she was complaining about some things before you got to where you got to. And if you don't know what those things are, maybe a conversation just to find out what those things are, just to listen, not to justify yourself. Because if you are going to, if you're gonna make her fall in love with you again, you're gonna already justify yourself. You're gonna feel justified already. You don't need her to validate you. You don't need to seek approval from her before you feel justified. You don't need any of that. So if you're gonna attract her back to you, if you're gonna make her fall in love with you again, you need to be confident about the about your abilities to do exactly that, okay? And how do you how do you become confident? You don't become confident by saying I'm confident, right? You show it. It shows in your actions, right? She get to judge if you're confident or not. Because if you just have confidence that you are enough, that you don't need approval, that you don't need validation without using your words, if you just have that and she gets to see that and she gets to be the judge of that, uh, that's automatic. She will essentially, that's essentially, that's basically the equivalence of her falling in love with you again, okay? Because she will wonder how the hell did that happen? But I was saying basically you need to outline everything she complained about. That's number one. You need to outline everything that you feel like you may have done wrong, okay? That you feel like you may have been better at. Maybe not wrong or right, but better at. Maybe it's your... Uh, your conduct, maybe is the way you handle yourself, maybe is um, how you show up as a husband, maybe is because you, you may have been narcissistic, you may have shown some insecurities as a man, uh, a lot of men have insecurities and the way they show that, the way it manifests can turn off a woman, right? So um, whatever it is, it may not be insecurity, it may not be any of these psychological things, it may be literally physical things, maybe you you drink a lot, maybe she's been coming that you drink a lot, you smoke a lot, there are things she's becoming complaining about, maybe about your family. She doesn't feel like you guys are going in the positive direction when it comes to financially, right? Whatever it is that she is complaining about, you need to align all those things, okay? And you need to write down, take the time to do that, okay? Now, let's focus on emotional because 90% of what happened is probably emotional, okay? There's a way you've been showing up. If you apologize too much, stop apologizing. If you never apologize, it may be time to tender an apology. And your apology is, is not does not necessarily need to be about something. It doesn't have to be about something in particular. It could be simply, I apologize for the part I play in the breakdown of our relationship. She may think that's manipulative. She may think, um, if she thinks that's manipulative, there's a good chance that you've apologized too much in the past, okay? But if she's hearing an apology for the first time from you ever, she's going to value that, okay? That doesn't mean she's gonna just fall in love immediately with you. Time has to play a role in this. Patience has to play a role in this. And I mean patient to the point that you will almost give up. So in other words, you need to have infinite patience. How do you have infinite patience? Well, you have to have a purpose-driven life. Things that kind of take your time, take your mind away from the situation with your marriage and your relationship authentically, okay? If you're just pretending like I take my mind off of it, it won't work. You need a purpose-driven life. You need to find a purpose that's your personal purpose in life that's bigger than your wife, that's bigger than yourself, something bigger than life, right? That thing must be time and energy consuming enough to take you away and then you have to deliberately say, hey, you know what, let me check on my wife. Let me see how she's doing and simply just checking on her, especially if you've never done that in the past. If you've done that way too much, you need to back off, okay? See, whatever you've always done, do the opposite, okay? Especially the emotional things, okay? Whatever you've always done, do the opposite so that she can start to wonder. 
what is going on with you are you growing are you moving in a different direction the key word is wonder she needs to wonder about you if he doesn't wonder about you or what you're up to that's basically the opposite of attraction she cannot fall in love with something that she's already familiar with especially if she considers it negative so if i'm gonna leave you with one thing in this video okay outline do an inventory of everything especially the emotional stuff that you've always done right and flip it when you flip it you will create a newness you will create a spark okay you will create something exciting and brand new and she will start to wonder and then you need to have time and patience onto that and in addition to that your personal purpose okay you cannot pretend to be patient okay if you try to pretend to be patient it will backfire and the next time you have an episode uh, it's gonna make things worse and then she will move further away from you especially emotionally so that's how to make your wife fall in love with you again she needs something new and exciting and it's you're capable of doing it because it's probably attached to your personal growth too so with that being said make sure you download the book get my marriage back you need to read it 10 to 15 times so that you can put our story behind you can relate you can see all the lessons in it and you can see the lessons of attraction the attachment that you may be exercising you may be you may have been showing some level of unhealthy attachment in your relationship and you'll be able to identify that because of the stories that we tell in the book 10 to 15 times you need to read it because you need to be able to teach it in your dream in order to make your wife fall in love with you again but that's the tip right there do opposite of everything you've done and i'm not talking about the right and wrong stuff that has nothing to do with the breakdown of your marriage it's purely emotional and you can do it hopefully you've been enlightened and educated i will see you on the next one and peace